General Motors is in a very dangerous and very precarious situation. Its entire future strategy relies upon making electric cars. It has confirmed as much. We know that is the case. They know it. And yet they continue to do this. They continue to put their entire future in the hands of one company. And it's not their own. Frankly, I've warned about this for a long time and General Motors continues to ignore the dangers and the risks involved with putting your entire business future in the hands of one external company. Something very interesting happened around three months ago that nobody seems to have picked up on. It's to do with LG Energy Solutions, one of the world's biggest battery manufacturers, and a decision that they announced, which has led to, well, General Motors and LG having a breakup and Tesla and Ford joining up with LG. What exactly is going on? And what has led to this decision? Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. My name's Sam Evans, coming to you from Melbourne in Australia. Thank you so much for contributing to our GoFundMe campaign for my wife, Shanna, who has stage four cancer, which unfortunately seems to have spread to different areas. And I just want to say a big thank you. It just shows me, proves to me the incredible value of humanity, of you guys, of what you've done for me, my family. Thank you so much. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, the GoFundMe campaign, I'll put the link in the description. You can have a look at that and you can see what's been going on. Basically, long story short, we found out just a couple of months ago that um, she did have an advanced stage of cancer and she's now getting specialized treatment, which is costing a lot of money. It seems to be the only real choice. There wasn't much hope for her here. So she started treatment just this week. And uh, some of you have been asking how that's going. Not real great so far, lots of throwing up and diarrhea and that kind of stuff. A um, bit of a minor surgery to have a port put in her shoulder there. So she's had a pretty tough week, but hopefully next week things will be looking up a bit, but at least the treatments have started. They're around about 11,000 to $12,000 per week. And the more weeks we can do, the more chance she has of surviving. So you guys have basically given me a whole lot of weeks, a whole lot of more chance that I wouldn't have had without you. Thank you so much. LG Energy Solutions. Now they used to be neck and neck with CATL for the world's vying for the crown of the world's biggest energy manufacturer, the world's biggest battery company. Truthfully, LG never had a chance. They never had a snowball's chance in hell and people didn't realize that. But I think it's pretty clear. A lot of you realize this. You saw what was happening. The lithium iron phosphate battery craze was about to explode. China went from primarily nickel-based chemistry batteries to now primarily lithium iron phosphate-based chemistries. But LG Energy Solutions, they could do nothing about this. They were powerless. Why were they powerless? Well, a little known fact is that lithium iron phosphate batteries were invented by the Chinese. They had a patent on that battery chemistry. Now, it's a bit more complicated than that, but that's the long and short of the situation. This meant that LG Energy Solutions, which is a Korean company, could not produce lithium iron phosphate batteries. Now, that patent has since expired, and they are now working on their own next generation lithium iron phosphate batteries. But in the meantime, well, disruption happens very quickly. BYD and other Chinese battery companies making lithium iron phosphate batteries took market share away from LG Energy. And also LG Energy helped this. They sped the process up by having more recalls on their batteries than every other battery company put together. This was bad PR. General Motors and LG, they had some pretty disastrous PR with the Chevy Bolt and the Bolt EUV recalls. However, LG is looking to bounce back. And in October of last year, they announced something which it appears as though nobody really recognized. They were getting ready to produce batteries for structural battery packs. Now, for some reason, nobody really mentioned the fact that this was incredibly important because who makes cars using structural battery packs? Well, obviously Tesla. And it was announced that General Motors would no longer be following through with its battery factory with LG. Its fourth factory was canceled. However, during that period of time, LG Energy Solutions signed new contracts with various different companies, including Ford, who parted ways with fellow Korean company, SK Energy. But getting back to this new cell-to-pack strategy, 
because clearly it was intended to be designed and created so that LG could sign an enormous contract with Tesla. CATL announced it would apply cell to pack technology to lithium ion phosphate batteries in 2023 to produce a product that can power an electric vehicle to run for 1000 kilometers on a single charge. Lithium ion phosphate batteries have a lower energy density than pouch type batteries or nickel based chemistry cylindrical batteries. On the 21st of September, 2022, LG announced it had completed the development of cell to pack technology. Cell to pack technology removes modules to secure more space for battery cells. It makes the whole pack lighter and more energy dense, essentially. Typically cells occupy 20% of the space in a pack, so not much. But LG Energy Solutions is seeking to increase the space taken up by cells to 50% and even up to 70% by removing modules and making them, well, more efficient. Of course, with a structural battery pack, it's also structural, so it can remove weight from the structure of the car at the same time. However, one thing that has been largely ignored is the fact that LG Energy Solutions is the industry, or well, the world's first company to apply cell to pack technology to high nickel pouch type batteries and potentially high nickel cylindrical cells for Tesla. Now it was announced within the last few days that LG Energy Solutions is possibly on the cusp of signing an enormous contract to supply Tesla with batteries for structural battery packs. Those batteries will be coming from its new facility that is currently manufacturing in Arizona. While the company hasn't provided further details about its discussions with Tesla and other EV makers, LG said it is reviewing investments in building the new Arizona battery plant which it appears as though may be fundamentally purposed to be built for Tesla's battery needs. Now, many companies have for a while believed that battery companies were under significant financial stress and pressure due to lithium prices. Lithium prices have gone through the roof over the past 12 months. But funny enough, these battery companies are now making more profit than ever before. And the same applies to LG Energy Solutions. In 2022, the company posted 20.7 billion US dollars in consolidated revenue and wore almost $1 billion in operating profit. LG are aiming to see a 25 to 30% increase in annual revenue and over 50% increase in capital expenditure this year. And the way they plan on doing that is through economies of scale. They cannot reach that level of, con of economies of scale that they need without Tesla. LG Energy Solutions CFO Chang Sil Lee said, the rising demand for electric vehicles is a significant driver for the battery sector. He said, LG Energy Solutions performance in 2022 was due in no small part to economies of scale and other cost optimizations. But to get to the next level, they need Tesla on board as a partner. So what they did is they dropped General Motors and signed up Ford and Tesla. Thanks to economies of scale led by sales growth, cost saving achieved through improving productivity and expanding price competitive metal sourcing, annual operating profit has also shown significant growth compared to the previous year, said the company. So LG Energy Solutions is becoming one of the key players in the growing electric vehicle sector. And they've been expanding their relationships with car manufacturers throughout 2022, including Honda, Tesla, and Ford. But at the same time, dropping General Motors. Now, what does that tell you about the future? What does that tell you about the future of LG? And what does that tell you about the future of General Motors? Well, I would say that LG is firmly committed to simply increasing their battery supply and less firmly committed to their partnership with General Motors. It appears to me as though General Motors is a little bit lost here because General Motors relies on one company for all of its battery needs. Right now, they have nobody else, LG. LG though, has contracts now with various companies all over the world. So LG doesn't need GM, but GM does need LG. In my opinion, this is a very dangerous, precarious position for General Motors to be in. And I've warned about this now for more than a year. I've said General Motors needed to diversify its battery supply in order to not be completely dependent on one company. Yet it has continued to ignore this. Of course, no one at General Motors watches the electric Viking. Well, maybe they do. 
I don't know. But regardless, they certainly haven't listened to this advice. And frankly, this puts them in a very precarious position over the next five years. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.